Good morning, YouTube. It is 4.40 on this Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, today's topic is uh, MEM computers. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons like the magnetism of particles and momentum of receptors radiation are mathematics a solution asteroid what am i doing up so uh mem computer is sort of a different kind of computer uh i think most of you know computers uh, but you may not know the structure of computers when when you have a computer uh if you want to you can look at my computer building episode <laughs> Uh, but you know you have basically for a computer you, you have a location for memory storage it's your hard drive uh, you have a location for rapid memory uh, manipulation that's your RAM random access memory or rapid access memory um, you have your uh, your location for information crunching information processing that's your processor central processing unit and then you know you have a location for your video that's your video card your sound is now embedded on your motherboard your motherboard sort of combines all this stuff uh, you have your CD-ROM and um, various things like that so the and you know it works sufficiently well right I mean we've got computers that can do amazing things uh, and they all kind of follow this this sort of layout you've got memory you've got processing you've got rapid rapid access memory um, uh, me. so with the mem computers they've decided let's uh, let's not do it that way <laughs> um, and they're they're sort of they're once again looking at probably you know the best information crunching device the brain um, any brain really doesn't have to be human anymore um, and in the past we've you know we've sort of we sort of tried to do things that resemble the neuron networks um, you know I've, I've talked a couple episodes about how you know either they're they're trying to generate a device where the circuitry sort of resembles neurons firing um, and you know other devices that that try and mimic the brain function um, and the networking of all the neurons well in computers you still have a separation of memory and processing and so with these mem computers they decided to combine them just like in our brain we have a combination of memory storage and information processing we don't separate out you know that um, and so with these mem computers you have you have a bunch of these mem computer units which can a store memory and b process information and so they're with these various mem computers they're all interconnected um, it's uh, uh, I don't know if it's the first time we've ever done this but you really don't hear about this and so um, when I read that article I was, I was interested in the you know, the, the processing that they're doing is not that complex yet, um, but they are finding that by doing it this way, you know, first of all, you do resemble the neurons. Each mem computer sort of resembles a neuron, and, and one thing about a network of neurons is that if you have one that doesn't work, your network can still work. Um, and with these mem computers, they're finding, you know, if if one doesn't work, one mem computer doesn't work, the network of mem computers still carries on the task of, of processing. So um, you can't do that with a computer. You have one little glitch and the whole thing just go to blue screens on you, um, which is always fun. So, you know, so they're, they're stating that with these mem computer networks, they'll be able to surpass the capability of even a quantum computer um, but have less uh, complexity and and less um, 
less difficult time of creating the the hardware because you have mem computers and then you just have a bunch of these mem computers all around and and that's um i don't know that, that's a bit of a tall claim uh quantum computing is supposed to you know it's supposed to be the next the next evolution of of computers and and yet we're having we are having a hard time trying to generate all the various aspects that'll give us the quantum computer you know um and to create the quantum computer you have to deal with a lot of a lot of physics that we're we're just not yet uh easily grasping so hey if you know it's easier to build a mem computer if if it surpasses the performance then great you know and and that's based off a of standard um electronic computing so uh, but you know we're we're slowly if you look at these mem computers and i don't know the the processing power of each mem unit but you know the way our electronics go if if that gets reduced and reduced and reduced then you start seeing these networks on a smaller footprint bigger network smaller footprint more and more processing and memory power in a smaller footprint still keeping you know to the to the memory and processing the same location you know it's sort of a precursor to to like the positronic brain you know where you have an electrical entity you have an electrical uh item that resembles the human brain and uh who knows maybe that'll power the the future of robotics or whatever so uh, it's all fun to, to read about and think about and see the progress on it. Uh, we, it will miniaturize because we're always capable of making things smaller. Um, if the network give us more robust processing power, because again, one little bit can be faulty and we still have a network that functions for us, um, that certainly helps too. So, Okay, I gotta go ahead and work. You gotta go do whatever it is you do. Uh, We'll talk to you tomorrow.